That dude was like a damn bunny. Dude, that motherfucker was playing Mario. Oh my god, are you gonna get a B2? No. I really hope you don't because I've been really embarrassing myself this entire game. Oh my god. You feel like calling. I know what you want by the tone that you talk and just get to the point with a boss. Ah, uh, shit, day it is. Yo, what's up, guys? Intoxication catch the video chat today. All right, guys, in today's episode of. All right, guys. In today's episode of Intoxication Investigations, you, everybody, you know, everybody that's watching this, I've been asked plenty of times: How do you drop so many V2 rockets? How do you spawn trap successfully? How do you do this, this, and this, and this, and this? Well, guys, if you pay close attention to this video, I am going to do a, you know, hopefully like a step-by-step -step type of instructional thing for you guys who don't know how to spawn trap fully and all this type of stuff. That way, you have a better understanding of it. But, anyways, guys, getting right into that. I want y'all to realize that whenever you're spawn trapping, you don't have to go like crazy deep in their spawn. You can do it from the outside. And right here, for instance, you see where I'm at right now. I'm not deeply in their spawn, but if you just like realize, like see, like I'm playing it safe. I'm making it to where they can barely see me. That's your that's your objective, guys. You want to make sure that they see as less of you as they can, and you see as much of them as you can. Because if you play it like that, then they they don't even know where they're getting shot from, like where you're killing them from. They don't know like who who you are. They can barely even see you. So my my main my main like point of this is basically like say if you're head glitching something you want them to just see like the tip of your head that way if they're trying to shoot at you they have like a, a one in like a million shot of hitting you like they would take some like really god aim but anyways see right here example like i'm not playing it too deep you know i'm on top of their balcony or whatever this is called i don't know but anyways that's not the point but you see, like, I'm just watching my back. Always watch your back is another thing as well. You know, if you start feeling like, you know, they're not spawning right, they're not spawning in the back of their spawn right now, watch your back. Like, I just did right there. There was four people that spawned right there. And then when I turn back around, there's another guy. When My main, another thing as well is when you kill somebody and basically when they're pushing you, there's nine times out of ten going to be another person behind that person. So my main thing as well is once you kill someone, Stay pulled up. Stay aimed. Don't just be like, all right, I killed someone. They're dead. Whatever. You know, let's just continue lollygagging. No. Stay pulled up. Stay ready for another person because nine times out of ten, there's going to be another. Sometimes even two. See, like that guy right there. I killed him. There's another guy waiting for me. I'm not chanting him. I killed this guy. I wait. Look, there's another guy above him. You see, like, you have to play it safe. You have to make it to where, like, they don't know where you're at. And you're basically kind of moving around a little bit, but you're not moving too far away from your safe area. This is my safe area in this whole entire process on top of the balconies. So this is my safe areas. That guy didn't know. Like People can be looking for you, but if you keep on switching the spots that you're at, they're not going to be able to exactly find you. They will eventually find you, but you will have more time to react on it and more time to kill them than they will kill you. And look right there. I just got my V2 rocket. So be patient, guys. Play it safe. If you think that someone has a chance of killing you, don't chance it. My thing is this. like you know, like People will say this and this and this and always camping. This is not camping. You're moving. You're moving a lot. Like I've made like two or three trips across the map. This is not camping. But anyways, guys, that's part one. All right, guys, part two. This is for faster-paced maps and stuff like that. Now, you're going to want to move around a lot. Say, for instance, this is shipment, right? So you see, I'm just staying aimed. On these type of fast-paced maps, the more aimed you are, the more likely you are to kill someone because everybody's going to be running around like with chickens with their heads cut off. So stay aimed. Stay behind objects like this right here. I'm behind this little, like... I don't know, like, box type of thing. I don't really know what you'd call it. But anyways, but you see, like, they're having a hard time seeing me because, like, it's, like, so much in front of me. I'm just using that little crack right there to, like, see better. And you see, like, yeah, they'll get grenades at me and stuff like that. But if you're wearing armored, you know, it won't hurt you as much. And so, see, I kill them here for a little bit. I bait them. I make them just, like, realize how much I'm smacking them in this position, right? So, like, I am killing them, killing them, killing them, killing them, killing them. And then after so long, that's when you move. Now, when you move, 
and they don't see you there anymore, they're going to be like curious and be like, huh? It's just like a dog. Like say if you have a tennis ball and you're throwing it so much and then eventually you just hide it behind your back, they're going to go looking for it. See, look, that guy right there. There's one. See, there's going to be so many like people that don't even think. They're just going to be like, so like, okay, let's go get this guy. They're going to be pushing you from every other angle, not knowing that you moved and you're killing him from a different spot. Another tip I want to give you guys, and this is for any map, pay close attention to your teammates, like their names, for instance. Okay, so this isn't really going to be an example for right now, but this is like just me telling y'all. Say, for instance, if Billy... Billy Bob, the teammate, is right in front of me. Use him as an example and like, just keep track of his name. If he's in front of you, make sure and watch the feed and say if Billy Bob gets killed, okay, you're like, you're like, okay, well, Billy Bob was just in front of me, so let me go kill that guy because there's somebody close to me. It basically, if you keep track of, like, if you keep tabs on your teammates and like where they are and like who's next to you and then you realize when they die, that's another way to know whenever somebody is close to you and that you need to turn around or this, this, and this, and this, and this. Like a, uh, a, a constant UAV in a way. Because if Billy Bob was behind me, I'm like, okay, well, Billy Bob's behind me. If he gets killed from behind me, well, I know that there's an enemy behind me now. And that's when you turn around and you kill him. And you see right there, guys, I got another V2 rocket. These are just little short tips that hopefully will help you guys spawn trap better, get V2 rockets, stuff like that. I know it wasn't too, too much. But anyways, guys, just try to use some of these tips. Keep tabs on your teammates. Stay aimed. You know, like, move around. But, like, play it safe. And hopefully you guys, you know, enjoy the video. Make sure to sub if you haven't already and drop that thumbs up. Much love, guys, once again.